What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles. Here's my wife, Adriana. Hey, guys. We are with Firmly Unbound, and today we are at a great outdoor RV center in Cumby, Texas, and they have a pretty awesome set of A-liner campers out here. And we're gonna take a look at this one here. This is the A-liner Classic, from what I understand. This is a some of my first exposure, actually, to this wide range of A-liner, um, what would it be? A series of A-liner campers, I guess you could say. <laughs> so we're gonna be going through some of these. We're gonna take a look at this one specifically, because this is one of the coolest ones that they have here. So let's go. Are you bilingual or speak Spanish? Well, we have video RV tours for you as well. My wife, father-in-law, and I have been hard at work to put together RV tours in Spanish for yourself or family members that may find those easier to watch and listen to. So go check those out. There are links down below in the description of this page, or you can go to www.firmlyunbound.com. All right, y'all, so we are inside the building here at a great outdoor RV, taking a look at this A-liner. Again, this is a A-liner classic. So obviously you can tell by the name A-liner that these pop up into what would be like an A shape there. Pretty cool, huh, babe? Reminds me of a tent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like a tent on wheels, except what's really unique about these is because these compare or, you know, it'd be similar to a pop-up camper, and they are a pop-up camper in a sense because they do collapse down like this here so that they can fit inside of your garage. If you have a residential garage, whether you're at a home or an apartment, anything like that, it will collapse down and you can fit it into that space there. And it will pop up like this to give you standing room inside. And then it has a hard side on most of your um, campers that they make. So instead of having that mesh material, that's actual fiberglass there. So that's gonna be a much more rugged construction, will definitely last a lot longer. And then you don't have to worry so much about the moisture issues that you have with pop-up campers where that moisture, if it doesn't dry out on that canvas material, can cause a lot of mold and mildew to happen over time. In addition to that, they have multiple different options. So this has more of an off-road package on it. So you can see, first of all, it has this all-terrain tire on here. So you have this all-terrain tire. It has also like this enclosed space underneath here that is metal. So if you were to have any sort of blowout or anything like that, you do have a much better grade of protection there. But they have different packages. So this one has that kind of package on there. Then we come over to this one here and you can see this one does not have that all-terrain tire. It also is a little bit lower to the ground because this one is lifted. So it's probably on a pitched axle underneath, I would imagine. We'll take a look at that real quick. Yeah, yep, you're on a pitched axle down underneath there. So that is also going to make it so that you have that higher ground clearance as well. And then I totally forgot. We'll put the specs on the screen real quick. Babe, don't let me forget to put the specs on the screen at this point of the video. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put the specs on the screen so you can see the specs because I don't know like what even the water tank capacities are on this off the top of my head. So we'll have to look at that on the screen. But I do know we have the weight right here. So your dry weight on this, so unloaded is under 2000 pounds. Going to be towable by a lot of SUVs, a lot of um, small trucks things like that. And then your tongue weight on here, which is the weight on the hitch right there, is only 172 pounds. So that's pretty much everything for just your kind of outline of the outside here. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Also want to point out uh, nice tinted windows all along the outside here. Ooh, we got a bamboo color going oh, on. I know you're going to love these colors with the sofa color Ooh. and the floor color. Is this table movable? Yeah. Yep, okay. Freestanding table, so you can move that around. Nice. You're gonna have a bench spot there. Again, this spot pops up, so you have all that head clearance. Now there is so much more space in here than I thought from looking at the outside. Oh yeah, it's very spacious. So if I sit down here, first of all, tall, tall ceiling height. I mean, you could be over seven feet and still stand in this. I mean, and we I can just look at how big you yeah. look in here. So six two, you can see all the room I have to stand around. Um, doesn't feel confined at all. Only thing that is a little weird, countertop heights are very low. So you can see they're like closer to my knee than they are my hips. And that is gonna be because this all has to collapse down below this level. So they have these pretty low. That's so you can keep the clearance to get it into your garage or anything like that. Huge windows here on this side. So really, really big window there. Gonna lot it, let in a lot of natural light. Plus you have the curtains here to block that off. I love how they made the window go all the way up to the peak. Yeah, they 
it's like a custom designed window to yeah. fit that space there. So really neat. This here is going to be another bench that extends out like so, and then this will make into a bed as well. And real quick, I want to take a second to let y'all know some changes that have happened with us. So if you didn't know, I am no longer associated with one dealership. We are currently independent, and that was so my wife and I could start our own company called Firmly Unbound, where we are doing lots of different exciting things. First of all, all our video content will be on firmlyunbound.com. I also wrote a book. So I'm gonna have a full RV buyer's guide collection of books coming. Our first book is out now. It's our introduction to RVs, beginner's edition. So you can find that at firmlyunbound.com. Links are also down below in the description of the video. If you don't know what the difference between a pop-up camper and a fifth wheel are, or what a class A, B, and C motorhome are, how gray tanks work on an RV, black tank works on an RV, electrical systems in an RV, all these different kinds of things. I walk through all of that. I break down all the differences and all the types of RVs, why you might consider one over the other, and then I answer all of my most frequently asked questions that I got being a salesperson for three and a half years and working in the RV industry for as long as I did. Also questions I would get from beginner salespeople a lot of times. So go check that out at firmlyunbound.com. Let's get back into the video. So let's kind of look at it here because I haven't played with this too much. There is a strap here that looks like it holds it in place. So a nice little added touch there so this doesn't slide when you're sitting on it. And then you'll pull this out and this is going to convert into your bed space there. Plenty of room. So I'm 6'2". It looks like the width of this bed. <laughs> your whole tummy is showing. Are you serious? Yeah. Don't look at my tummy. <laughs> anyway, I would probably lay like this. Wow, she's over there laughing at me behind the camera. <laughs> you can't see her. Uh, I would lay like this. There's plenty of room for another person here. Definitely can fit two people. The width of this is about six foot three inches, so it's not too terribly long, um, but plenty of room to lay down. And it's a pretty large space for what it is. One thing that's kind of strange to me is there's only two lights in here. There's one up above my head here, and then there's another one on the other side, but they are cool looking lights. You have your power switch there. Oh, that's like, it's, um, it's not a button. It's just a like pressure sensitive button there, or maybe like a heat sensitive button, I should say. So not the best lighting in here, but if you put this outside in your camp site or whatever, it's going to light up pretty well with your natural light. And then let's, let me get out of the bed real quick, babe. And see, it looks like you have your uh, thermostat controls right here for your fan down underneath here, or not thermostat controls, or that, maybe that is, sorry, thermostat controls and a fan speed on that is what I'm guessing. Cause you do have the max air vent fan up above your head there. So that's going to be your vent fan to get out um, any sort of, you know, air out of here, get some airflow. And then you do have a furnace down underneath here. I'm going to check and see if there's an AC on here. Cause I don't believe that there is an AC is my assumption. Let me get this back into your kind of bench seating arrangement here. All right, so convert this back into your seating space here. This strap again will strap down here to hold things in place. So I'll come back and do that here in just a second. Um, you're gonna have some little storage down underneath here. So nothing too crazy. This is a solid hardwood door there. This also is a pretty thick side door here. So really good construction on this as well. Better than most of your like, entry, definitely better than any entry level travel trailer. That's for sure. This is a more premium trailer than what you'll see in, you know, something that's like a traditional, maybe stick and tin style travel trailer. And let's see other stuff, outlets here in the kitchen. This is gonna be a refrigerator. A lot of people walk into an RV like this and they're like, it has a dishwasher? And no, this is your refrigerator. So refrigerator there, little, little freezer portion up under this spot that will open up. And then again, this is a freestanding table so you can move this wherever you would like. You can even take it outside. And this will also convert into a bed because you can lay it down here on these supports to fill it in with your back cushions and have a bed. That is pretty much everything inside outlet underneath there as well. And then how it collapses is if you look here, you're gonna have these different latches throughout here. So as you start undoing these latches and disconnecting those, that will start allowing pieces to collapse so that you can convert this all down into your condensed kind of dropped down flat camper. Do you show them the microwave? Oh yeah, microwave here right when you walk in. So kind of convenient how they do this where you can basically 
Um, actually, you know, it always opens what feels like the wrong way to me. I guess this makes sense if you're grabbing something from inside the RV. I was going to say you could grab something from outside, but you really can't. Well, I think if you're sitting Yeah, if you're here, sitting there, that makes sense. I think I also saw there was cubbies on this side. Nice. Good spacing. Is this big storage down underneath here? And big storage. Oh, yeah, that's a good size storage space in there. Cool. Really love that it has a solid hardwood cabinet doors. That's pretty much everything on the inside. It's nothing too crazy or anything like that. And then as we come around, we'll kind of look around the outside real quick where you'll have more storage here, plus your outside um, two burner stove. And then just love the more rugged look with some of the aspects on here. You have your two stabilizers on the back, two stabilizers on the front. Those are gonna be manual stabilizers. So best way to do that is to get a drill with a bit that would fit over the top of that. And you can just drill to, use a drill to shoot that down really quick. Nice rock guard on the back and on the front. So that gives it a really nice aggressive look on it as well. And then as we come around to the back side over here, we got it kind of close to the wall, but you can see here, you have the different strut systems there to help assist getting things up and down to collapse this. You have your latches to hold it closed. Spare tire on the back with the all-terrain tire on that. It looks like this blue on the tires is water painted. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I'm like, is it supposed to be blue or is it gonna wash off? I'm like, I almost feel like it's gonna wash off, but I don't know. They're all over the tires. I know. I feel like it's gonna wash off though. Like it's supposed to be white, but I don't know. I could be wrong. If y'all know in the comments, let us know, because I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, fresh water connection back here. You're also going to have your um, uh, tank fill right here as well. So you can put your fresh water in there and fill your water tank. And then coming back through here, you have your power cord. You have an outdoor shower, so hot and cold water there. And then a spot to plug in a solar panel over here. Looks like you're going to have two 20-pound propane bottles there, spot for your battery and then this is everything on the front end. And again, this is just one of the many A-liner campers they have here, is they have multiple different options. Like this one does not have a bathroom in it. They do have two here that have a bathroom in them as well. And then they have some that are smaller than this and larger than this. So lots of different cool options. All right, y'all, and that's all we got for y'all. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment down below what you thought. And babe, you wanna tell them where to go? Make sure to go to www.firmlyunbound.com. Yep, go check that out. And until next time, we'll see you out camping.